Hello everyone and welcome yes. back to Let's Play Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, with me again, Dave. So we're just starting from where things went a little sideways last time. Old Malik was wrong, I showed him. Let's see if the apprentices could stop. On the grounds that I kind of left the rest of my group to die. And then went in a half power. Tried to take everyone myself. I might have been able to pull it off if I were a bit smarter about it. But I do like to see what I can get away with. I did uh, take one different path. That's a fun fact. Alright, let's expect some enemies coming from there this time. So over there is where trouble started. Bastel gonna help? Okay, there she is. Just strangle him. Oh, I know what's wrong. Yeah, we want her on Jedi droid support. That'll uh, yeah. work a little bit better with the one-two punch we're going for. There. I like how after the unit's dead, they keep, they keep choking me somehow. Here it is. Yeah. I should have gone for that lightsaber to, or the blaster bolt deflection. I knew there was a barrage of it going up there, through the Star Forge, but I thought maybe. Alright, I guess I did really leave Bass to let it fend for herself. Yeah, there we go. History repeats. Oh no, it stopped me because of mine is sighted or something? Whatever. And... Holy cow, she did it. Nope. No, she didn't. There we go. So close. Let's pillage a bit. All right, Candorus might be in trouble. A couple situations of the game's programming not holding up super well. Enemy cited as one of my friends is quite clearly in a fight to the death. In the last episode, I mentioned some areas where the spawn points of the enemies are pretty bonkers. This would be one. And like another wave will be coming from around there. I don't know if we'll ever stop. Having Basila go down is probably something we should try harder to prevent, but oh well. You can lose force points, I think, if you get uh, force lightning, so it was important for us to keep that in mind. Yeah. Also, I was wrong. I have removed the lightsaber crystal that was giving me force regeneration, or I didn't opt to use it. I should huh? get on that. I'm here. Alright, you just spam all the heals. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we could probably just med pack her. And we'll just use the normal ones. There we go. Yes? Everyone's Why? feeling yes. fresh? Sure. Ironically, we need to uh, stop and rest to get our force points back, even though we're Sith. You'd think that, like, in the thrill of the battle is when we'd recover it. There is a class in Final Fantasy XIV, the warrior class is a tank. So there's like, I think there's three tanks now, but there were two tanks originally. One, one, one was the Paladin, who was a typical damage mitigation tank, but the Warrior was like more of a Berserker sort of take on things, where um, 
you mostly, like, you could use some good armor and you could mitigate some damage, but you mostly uh, recovered HP. Like, you had a really large pool of HP and you had ways of getting it back. So, what I liked is if you start getting hurt, because you, like, bit off more than you can chew in a fight or something, the only thing you can do is keep biting even more off. Like, just keep going crazier. It was a good, uh, bit of game mechanics. KOTOR would have done well to, I don't know, emulate something like that for the Sith, where you actually play them differently. Because, uh, we're not right now. Jump! And a metal cylinder at the end. We did a pretty good job uh, smashing our way through all this. Also, I'd like to know what they did to get a dodge there. Does that have a plus 35 to hit? Point of reference, 37. I mean, obviously, when you roll a 1, you critical miss. But a 37 is the worst possible roll I could get. So Basil's attack modifier, I believe, was a plus 25. So that would be rolling a 12. Yeah, I pretty... Like, it has to be that I can only miss on a 1. Huh? I'm here. Yes. All right, we're good. An elevator door. Yeah, I don't think this is what we want quite yet. We've got a little bit of a jog to take. So over thither, this is optional. And by the way, I would say there's one really difficult gauntlet left. It ain't this. Uh-oh. I'm not sure if slow was overriding my force speed, so I re-upped it. Alright. Okay, so, we can go to this terminal. I didn't know about this the first time I played the game, by the way. Great, customized Jedi robes. There you go, which I might not be able to use. I want to show that you can use the lights, or the Star Forge to forge things. And yeah, you can make more than one set of these. You get Star Forge robes, which are light side, if you are light side. There we go. We got our old outfit back. Looks okay, can't wait. Yeah, there are enemies here. Um, I'm just gonna see if Bastila can wear them. Ooh, she can. Well, let's go make what? another set then. There we go. Boy, now is not a great time to have your clothes off. Am I right? It's not even a no plants let's play. Not in this month. Alright, well. Actually, I can't seem to move right now. There we go. Enemy sighted. Well, I'm Darth Revan, so I can do this if I want. Think I'm poisoned? They must have used flag on me. I really would like to get some clothes back on at some point. This is actually kind of like a bad dream. 
have to go fight Darth Malak in your mind. No one chokes Bastila except Joey Vindo when he fought her. Uh oh. Bastila got dropped. Alright, Candorus, do your thing. Huh? Sure. Force depleted, it looks like he has lots. I think the game's confused. This could be a problem. Force 19 0 because we have negative afflictions on. Ooh, we might have just gotten ourselves into another tight spot. Alright, Candorous. the super Baragwin blade, because I think it was lying on the ground. Mission had it. So we're going to have to take a bit of a drop here. So I thought back of Ceremonial Blade was dual wielding. to 22. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, Andy's getting choked. We're in a tight spot, folks. We can get out of this, though. Really wish I had clothes on. Thanks for nothing, game. Okay, gives everyone life over time. We're probably gonna get dropped in a single hit here. Oh, what a terrible way to go. All right, he can heal like crazy from med packs though. Keep doing it, Candorous. Keep doing it. This is so frustrating. Game? I just wanted to put on a new pair of clothes. Oh, those debuffs are going to add up. You know what? I think it's time. Not having it happen again. There we go. You want another one? See you all in hell. Throw it on the floor. Old Candorous has got it figured out. Alright, let's try do out dueling this one straight up. There we go. Oh yeah, take out the trash. Glad this one bugged out. Well game, you cheated on me, so I'll cheat you back. Yeah, and they're not on timers or anything. Yes. Sure. All right. Take two of these. Yeah. Yes. Oh, me in there. Yes. What? I'm here. All right. She's not going to get her force points back, but we had to get old Jorik back up to speed. Uh, okay, we're committed. I just wanted to see what her stats were. I thought we could get a strength point. It doesn't matter at this point, most likely. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'll take treat injury at this point. Oh. And computer use? No. One remaining force power. Uh, it's not even worth going after speed. I guess death field would be nice. Nah, uh, I don't know. None of these are great. I guess I'll take the speed just to have the walking option. And Candorous, thank you for your service. And based on everything that happened, we'll just pump up his strength even more. His final feat. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with this. He's at max melee. Yep. All right, glad to have you with us. Yes? Now, if excuse me, I have some clothes to put on. The very noble <laughs> near end of Darth Revan. By the way, that's what actually happened in between uh, KOTOR and the Old Republic. That's where Revan really went. All right. There we go. Now I have really good armor, even without four speed on. 34. Look at it, baby. Yeah, and health regeneration. It's a good setup. Now we can move to the command deck. So normally, if you choose the light side path, or the absurdly uh, preserving the status quo of the entrenched power structure side of the force, um, Bastila, I think, will be right here when you go to the command center. And after that, the game's pretty much the same no matter what, to be honest. I mean, I find it hard to believe that Bioware would ever create a story where, like, branching decisions were really important and they'd all boil down to a single point. And, you know, after that it wouldn't really matter what you chose, and there's only, like, two pre-canned endings, but... You summoned us, Lord Malik. Yeah. Has betrayed me. I must select a new successor to be my apprentice. One who will one day take the mantle of Sith Lord. Why would you perpetuate this? Of all the dark Jedi that have sworn allegiance to me, you three are the strongest. One of you will have the honor of becoming my new apprentice if you prove yourself worthy. Tell me what I must do, Master. Anything. Revan is on the Star Forge looking to reclaim the title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Wait here for my old master. Whichever one of you deals the killing blow to Revan will become my new apprentice. Good luck, I've we got clothes now. You, master. I hope it's the one where the uh, designer went crazy with the red saturation. Perhaps you will triumph, but even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. Yeah, he keeps and pumping that a lot. See if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Star Forge. <laughs> Is it really that funny? I feel like you better get working. You're gonna run out of followers. I mean, he seems like he doesn't do a lot of manual labor around here. And I'm not trying to be cute about it. Like, legitimately, how would this order function if everyone but him was dead? Let's make this quick. Oh, so close. You can see the perks that we would have if we were wielding another lightsaber. Honestly? It's tempting to go back to the workbench. I think there was one there. Boy, the volume is getting bonkers here. Uh, it's tempting to go back to the workbench and 
grab like a short bladed lightsaber. Even though. Hey, good work, team. Uh, even though we've committed to the single path, I, I gotta, I gotta see it through now. I've never played through the entire game going the dueling route. I'll say, I really do think the saber staff is by far the best, but uh, and flurry. I guess power attack is objectively does more damage. But there are sometimes uh, factors that make the equation a little bit more complicated. Like if you have sneak attack, critical strike can be a little bit more effective under the right situation, especially if you have someone constantly spamming stasis. So we enjoyed some of those perks. The problem I have is force jump makes you want to really rely on your normal attack a bit more often. Then we don't do too much of the critical striking. Alright, I'm gonna put my money on a life support pack. And a computer spike. Eh, I feel like that counts as a win. So I feel like the way Candorus mowed through all those guys before was like the most Mandalorian thing ever. Just throwing grenades non-stop at his feet. So yeah, if we charge ahead here, this is going to turn into a real problem. But I got my new dead, so... Looked like he was getting ready to do a throw. Just see how nice it would be to have one more attack. Please? <laughs> so many problems walking around and the one time I get there. Yeah, these narrow callways are just a murder for party fights. It's kind of makes sense for how they would try to defend the place, though. Yeah, I hate how they keep playing it back and forth, too. It'll be over soon, all the running back and forth. And yes, that was the enemy sighted prompt. Good work, team. Oh, back at it again. That'll show you. Die! And just throw one for good measure anyway. See, all we have to do is go through that door out back there. I'll pick it up. All right. Now for the new wave of enemies spawning here. There we go. So... I think this is where... Yeah, just around that corner is going to be the color... Sith. The Crayola pack. You have to kill us first. Very nice that that happened in the middle of a force leap. Oh my goodness, game. You shall fall. I don't think anyone else is coming. Let's just do a quick yes. heal up. Make sure everyone's feeling fresh. I don't remember what it's like to fight that, uh... Yeah, the crayon pack yes. of Sith, so. Well, let's get nice and ready to burn through those force points so it'll have worn off after until the cutscene is complete. Bastila. 
fool to betray the master. And an even bigger fool to return to the Starforge. The only fools are those who still follow Malak. Open your eyes and see the true Lord of the Sith. Revan has returned. Revan is nothing. Malak earned the title of Dark no, Lord didn't. by defeating his old master. And now I will become Malak's new apprentice by doing the same. Again, I don't know why you would be loyal to... Eh, whatever. Also, it looked like they shrugged that off after it hit. Oh, she's getting the choke. Okay. Well, Candorous, you just do all the heavy lifting. They switched to the power attack as well, I guess because that's yes. severe. Yes. Hmm, he got all his health back. <laughs> Most disappointing. Uh, we're just gonna have Candorous go back to the old reliable here. Yeah. Of course, until it stops saying saved and resisted. I will not be able to- there we go. Thermal detonators. Don't stop. Yes. Yeah. We'll just start med packing here. And Candorous, we'll just get by with a normal med pack here. Don't stop. Oh, they didn't like that one bit. I'm here. Here. All right, we finally dropped one. And now they go down like flies. Yep. We would have had immunity to most of the terrible ones. I don't know, we have mind affecting him. Oh no, I don't have it on. Did I put it on? Oh, that was really careless of me. Uh, this would have made our lives a lot easier. Oh, well. Welcome to the spot where we do the battle meditation. So normally, if we were playing a light side, then at this point, um, we'd encounter Bastila and fight her. And then you can kill her or tell her you love her. And those are pretty much your only options. <laughs> if you have really high persuade, she can become good without being blackmailed by defeat. love. If I don't use my battle meditation to turn the tide, Admiral Dodonna's capital ships will destroy the Starforge. I have to stay here in the command center so that I can best use my battle meditation against our enemy. If I don't, the Starforge will be lost. Mm -hmm. You must go burn to it all down, I say. Me. Find him, kill him, and reclaim the title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Candorous can get... okay. <laughs> the tide of the battle is turning against us. The entire Sith fleet reacts instantly to our every strategy. Every fighter and capital ship attack in perfect unison. I've never seen such military precision. I have, but never from the Sith. It's almost as if... No. Bastila is using her battle meditation against us. What? Impossible. She's on our side. Not anymore, Admiral. I sense something different about Bastila during her transmission. Well, good thing you didn't mention anything. Only feeling the evil presence of the Starforge itself. I see now. I was wrong. Bastila has turned to the dark side, Admiral. You have to give the order to retreat. I can't do that. This might be our only chance to destroy the Starforge. We can't withdraw. We Why? Can't. You know where it is. Then you will lose. You could, like, ram into it. I just... <sighs> the plot says they are in trouble now. We'll go with it. We'll go with it. All right, everyone. In the next episode, we go visit Malik, and it'll be a really good time. I'll see you there, and much easier than everything else we've done so far. See you soon.